Welcome back to another video and today I'm joined with Julian. Hello there. And we're going to be showing you guys five different ways to do keyword research. Some will be free, some will be paid and yeah, let's get into it. So method number one and I think this is probably the one of the safest methods, one of the, the easiest ways. Um, the only thing that you need to worry about is um, making certain that you don't have any overlap is for example the keyword uh, or sorry, the Google auto suggest method, and that is like, for example, if you're a law firm, you would do like lawyers for, and then a. So then you you would want to do a page for lawyer, lawyers for asylum seekers, lawyers for assault charges, lawyers for accident, um, lawyers for a will, lawyers for adoption, so on and so forth. The one um, thing you need to be aware of when you are doing this method is that there will be some overlap right so for example if we take a look at lawyers for accident and also lawyers for auto accident they're going to be very similar pages so you don't want to be doing two different um, p separate pages for this like if we do lawyers for auto accident um, you'll see that there is a very similar set of results here so if we take a look um, you'll see you've got, for example, injury lawyers for you, um, and do they actually rank here? Actually, they don't, but you've got National Accident Helpline, um, you've got Aubrey Association solicitors, or sorry, Isaacson solicitors, um, so it's a very similar set of results, and you've, you've obviously got Slater Gordon on both for its set of results, so just bear that in mind when you are doing the Google Auto Suggest method, you're not, um, do, you're not doing keyword cannibalization like in in some cases like for example lawyers for buying a house and lawyers for buying a home you're just going to need the one page for that so just bear that in mind when you are using this strategy method number two what you can actually do is use google keyword planner so i'll just share my screen i'll show you what i mean so if we go to share my screen right here you can actually get free access to this pretty powerful tool and if you go to the keyword planner right here, inside the Google Ads account, you can either choose between discover new keywords and you can either choose your topic, you can enter a site to filter unrelated keywords, or you can start with an actual website, right? So for example, let's take a random website like, I don't know, let's go with cakesbymk.com. We'll plug that in. Let's say that's one of my biggest competitors and you can do this with whatever competitor you're trying to compete with. And then you can choose between using the entire site or using only this page. Now I would recommend you go with the whole domain and then go to get results just because that will give you a wider net of potential keywords right here. And then what you can see is it's listed all the relevant keywords that we could potentially go for as well. It's given us the average monthly searches, which is based on Google's own data, so it's pretty useful. I wouldn't worry too much about the competition because this is related to pay-per-click, not to actual SEO competition. But by doing this, you can easily find a bunch of keywords that your competitors have tried to rank for. We can download it as a Google Sheet right here, and then that should pop up in a Google Sheet in a second but very easy and quick method to get your competitors' keywords based on whatever niche or whatever competitor you've got. And then yeah, once definitely. you've done that, it will look something like this. Yeah. What One added bonus to what Julian's just shown is you can actually take that set of keywords and you can go over to ChatGVT and group the keywords together because like with my strategy, um, what you'll typically find is there will be overlap like for example it might be like cakes for vegetarians or best cakes for vegetarians let's say for example and that's in that case you're only going to want need one page for that you might not need to create um two pages you will have keyword cannibalization so method number two and this is a paid method um and this is with a tool called keyword chef um i believe it's actually pretty cheap to buy um, let me just check how much it actually costs. Keyword Chef uh, pricing, I believe it's only like, yeah, $30 per month and you get 5,000 credits. You probably won't need as uh, that many, or you might do depending on the size of your website. But 
you've obviously got a different set of ways that you can do keyword research. Um, you've got questions, you've got wildcard, you've got best, you've got comparison pages. You also do have how to's as well. Most alternatives and ideas. This is what the um, the wildcard feature looks like. So I've just put in again, lawyers for star. And then you've got like, for example, AI tools for lawyers. Um, best keyboards for lawyers um, can I get a f can I file a, a case without a, without a lawyer um, can I fire my lawyer after settlement can I uh, get a lawyer without money etc etc so you've got all of these um, the questions it is actually taking a little bit longer um, to, to get that up but let's see if we can get some um, let's see if we can get some alternatives or actually we'll, we'll do We'll do ideas, right? Lawyers, again. I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. Um, actually, your search is too narrow. Right, let's do... Keyword Chef works best around activities like cooking. Let's do cooking, let's say. Ideas. So this does also ide ideation. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to take too long. There we go. So 4th of July cooking ideas, air fryer cooking ideas, Airbnb cooking ideas, animal cooking ideas, anniversary, so on and so forth. So you've got different variation. You, you can also do this for like comparisons as well. Um, and the good thing is, is you can, you also have got the filters up here as well. So like, for example, before um, this kind of looks like a very scattergun approach right like ai tools for lawyers um you might not you might not want to publish that un unless you've got an ai website if you're if you're like a law firm in, in new york let's say you're not going to publish an article like that but let's say for example if you're a job seeking website like if you're a recruitment agency you could definitely um add in uh, if we just reset and ignore all and if we just only tick the jobs, right? So you've got like best work from home jobs for lawyers, um, lawyers uh, for being fired from a job, um, lawyers for job discrimination. So you've got a variety, like you can filter out different um, stuff like that. You can also do like questions as well. So like questions for lawyers, um, good questions to ask a lawyer and stuff like that. But yeah, that's been keyword strategy number two. What is strategy number three, if I stop sharing my screen? So strategy number three, I share my screen right here. Um, this is a paid method as well. So what you can do is inside Ahrefs, if you go to Keyword Explorer, which you can see right here, then filter down to whatever country you're trying to rank in. And from here, Let's say, for example, you're in the coffee niche. We can type in coffee right there. Obviously, it's going to be really difficult to rank for that keyword. But if we scroll to the bottom left and we go to match in terms, we can actually filter down by keyword difficulty. So we can say, right, I only want to go after the easy keywords with low authority websites ranking, right? So low SDR just means domain rating. The lower it is, the lower the authority of that site. So if we say, right, we want low authority sites, aka DR30 or less in the top five and easy keyword difficulty, hit show results. And it will give us a bunch of relevant keywords related to coffee that we could potentially rank for. And you can also filter by word count as well, right? So you can say, right, minimum four words. So let's go for the long tail stuff that's going to be easy to rank for. And it should give us a bunch of ideas that are four words or longer each. So let's say you're going for like best coffee in the world. And, and you sell a coffee related product. That could be quite an easy keyword to go for, has a decent amount of searches, and it's got low authority websites ranking in the top five. So pretty good to go. Yeah, so that's, that's a good strategy. So strategy number five, and this is the final strategy. Um, if I share my screen, again, this is a paid um, way of doing keyword research. But all I have done is I've just searched New York lawyers, um, and then obviously we've got the like the top three results in the map pack. You can even do it in the organic listings as well. Um, and I've just searched, or I've just put in casuallaw.com. This is just a made up dummy website, and I've went to content gap section on the left hand side, 
And then what I've done is I've just pasted in my three competitors. And if you then take a look at the intersections, um, you can obviously filter by free um, intersection. That basically means all three competitors are ranking for that keyword. Or you can do, let's say, two. So let's just take a look at two um, intersections. You'll see that there are a lot of keywords that they are ranking for that we aren't. So like, for example, um, you've got um, human trafficking lawyers, NYC, childhood, sex abuse lawyers, 24-hour lawyers, best civil lawyers, um, institutional abuse lawyers, so on and so forth. So you've got a lot of service pages that you want to build out um, with, with this strategy. Um, I, if, if I'm being honest, um, there probably isn't like a right or wrong to any of these keyword research strategies. Like, I, 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 Am I under the, the right impression you would probably want to do all five different keyword strategies, Julian? Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, just collate all of the potential options that you've got and then figure out, okay, which one's the highest leverage one? Which, which one's going to give me the fastest results in the shortest amount of time? Yeah, definitely. And then there, there, there's like an additional way of doing keyword research. Like you can always use AI as well. Like we didn't even touch on AI, but you can use um, Google Bard. Um, I know you're not a fan of, of ChatGPT anymore, Julian, but you could, can use ChatGPT. You can also use Claude as well. Um, all of them do a fairly decent job um, when it comes to keyword research. So if you did want to use a free, like a completely free method, you could use that um, and it will do like a, a fairly decent job. One thing that I would always say with the, with the AIs and stuff is that the search volume, it seems to be a little bit off. Um, so that's just the only one caveat to using AI. Um, I mean, it's great, but it can obviously be a little bit off when it comes to that kind of the stats. What's 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 your end, ending thoughts, Julian? Yeah, I think just, you know, if you can collate all the options, they're pretty actionable and quick to implement. And then the next solution is, okay, what content do you create now? And I think you just plan out for the next 90 days, okay, here's how much content we're going to create per week, and here are the keywords I'm going to target. And also just be careful of making sure that, like you said, you don't cannibalize the keywords. So there might be some keywords you have on your list, where there's like 20 or 30 of them, that actually, they just need one page. They don't need multiple yep. pages. Yeah, definitely. I think the the one good thing about this, of, of all of these strategies, is what I would be looking to do is adding them all into one sheet and then using like Claude or, for example, Google Bar to group all the keywords in, into into one, um, or sorry, not, not into one, but grouping the keywords into subsections. So, for example, if you're doing um, a website and let's say it's human trafficking attorneys and human trafficking lawyers, right? That's probably that probably deserves one page. You don't need two separate pages for that. Or if we go back to the cakes scenario, cakes for vegans and best cake for vegans. That's again, it's probably only going to need one page. But because you're because you're gathering information from all of these tools, it will spit out different results. So just bear that in mind when you are doing keyword research. But thanks for joining me, Julian. Cheers. Appreciate it. And um, if you guys do want a free 15-minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check out casuals.com. The link is also in the description. Thanks.